Hi guys, this is Angel here. So today we're gonna make a value monster. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go together step by step on how to draw a monster. And then with crayons, we're gonna show you the value, which means from light to dark using crayons. And value is an element of art which is extremely important. So the first thing you're gonna need is a piece of paper and a pencil. And on your paper, we're going to start with two U-shaped marks right up here. Now, I'm using a permanent marker, so it's easy for you to see, but you're going to use a pencil. Then, from this U-shape, these are going to be our horns. I'm going to go up and curve it like I'm starting a spiral. Then, I'm going to go on the other side, and I'm going to go up and follow it around to make a horn. Now, same thing on the other side. Up, curve in. Then I'm gonna go this way, up, and curve in. Now, you can make your horns different or similar. It's totally up to you. Now, I'm gonna make some curved lines in here, adding some texture to my horns to show that it's kind of got some bumps or some ridges. So next, I'm going to make my eyes, and I'm going to put my eyes a little bit more down underneath my horns, and I'm going to make two big circles, big circles. With those big circles, I'm then going to make the white parts of the eye, just little highlights. There's, I'm going to make three circles. Then, with your marker later on, you can color it in, making sure to leave those areas white because they show the highlights or the where the light hits the eyeballs so I've done that next we are gonna make the mouth and again that's gonna be a really big spread out U shape and I'm gonna put my mouth up here big and then on the edges I'm gonna put an upside down V now for my teeth, I'm gonna do some V's next to each other, or I could just do zigzag all the way across. But again, I'm just trying to break down in everything into basic shapes. Next, we need the arms. So my arms are gonna come out um, from about here, and I'm just gonna make a curve line this way, and a curve line this way. And now I'm gonna go up here, and I'm gonna go and bring it down. Then I'm going to add the fingers and you can do them however you want. I just make really long V's, three really long V's and, or two really long V's and a short V. So I make a short V and two long V's. Next, we wanna make the body. I want my cute little monster to be fluffy. So I'm gonna go like this and just make it fluffy. And I'm gonna go out here and make some fluff. Here, here and make some fluff. I just did some bumps. Then we need some feet. So I'm gonna make two lines here, two lines here. And I wanna make my little toes, so I'm gonna make on this side, I'm going to do some backward C's. So I'm going to do a C, a C, and a C. And they all touched, if you notice that. So I'm going to do it over here. A C, a C, and a C. And I'm going to put my line back. I'm going to make a side little bump. And then I'm going to straight line. So I'm going to go straight line, side little bump, or a C and a straight line, okay? You can make toenails, you can do whatever you want, you can add eyebrows, it's totally up to you. Now, what you wanna do is with a pencil, and I'm going to draw, push really hard, but you're gonna draw really lightly. We need three circles around our monster. So, I'm gonna go like this, make my circle here. I don't draw through my monster, so I'm gonna pretend like it goes around like this, around, 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 
round. So that's one. Then I'm gonna do another one. So again, push a little bit harder, round. Oh, and that one's gonna probably start to go off the page. Around, all the way around. And I might have room to do one more if I want. Um, but actually I'm gonna keep it at that. So I, you're gonna do two circles. And that would be how we're gonna color it in. All right guys, so now we're gonna move on to the coloring portion. So you definitely need a black crayon. I have a really big one. Um, but what you're gonna wanna do is we wanna show the value. So we wanna show how we can go from a light gray to almost black. So the first circle around our monster, we're gonna take our black crayon and color really lightly. And I also put a little bit of paper underneath or maybe you guys have a little magazine. It makes it so the crayon has a little more cushion and you can go a little softer. So my next circle around my monster, I'm gonna push a little bit harder. So, You want to be able to tell the difference, tell the difference. Now for our last ring or the rest of the area, we're going to go much darker because we want to show kind of like it, it's a hole almost. And what you can do is if you notice there's a big difference between these two um, shades, you can just add a little more another little layer right kind of where that line is and you can just go a little heavier with your crayon or if you have colored pencils at home whatever you're using um, I just think crayons seem to work a little bit better when you do this but this last one we're gonna push a lot harder so we really want to see that black so we want to push a lot harder um, if you're using a crayon make sure you hold it down closer to the tip so it doesn't snap because very often um, your crayons break like mine did the other day. My black crayon just snapped right in half. Um, so again, you just wanna push harder and you wanna push harder so you can see the difference in value, the difference in value. So now when we go to color our monster, if we again, we notice that we have a huge jump in value, we can go ahead and add a little more color around that edge so it doesn't look so, um, like there's such a huge jump. But then you guys are gonna wanna color your um, monster. And I'm gonna color my monster with a magenta, and then I'm gonna do a pattern in his horns and color his arms and his feet. So last but not least, we are going to add some shadows to our horns, around the eyes, around the teeth, um, in the legs, and I am going to use, um, again, that black crayon, and you want to make sure you're pushing very lightly because black is super powerful and we can't erase it. So I'm going to go underneath the uh, horn a little bit. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of a highlight there. And then again, where it hits the, the body. And you can make like little circles with your black crayon. Um, you know, you just wanna push lightly, lightly, just to give it a little bit of darkness in there, like a shadow. Then we're gonna go around the eyes a little bit. Now remember, it's a monster, so it's okay. But I know you guys might be worried, like, oh, it looks scary. No, it's a cute little sh uh, shading monster. It's a cute little shading monster. So we're just gonna add some shadows, give it a little bit under the arm. This is where if I hadn't broke my little crayon, it would have been a lot easier. I'm gonna put a little bit of shadow under the mouth. We're not gonna color in those teeth though. We're just gonna give it a little bit of a shadow. 
I'm gonna put a little shadow in the feet, um, on the legs, on the other side, a little bit in between the toes if I can get there with my big crayon. But that's our cute little shadow um, value monster. And again, we used that black crayon to give it um, those shadows. And then we used value showing lighter to dark. And that is our cute little monster.